okay 11th standard so finally we will start your experiment today your first experiment and second experiment will be based on this particular device vernier caliper okay this device over here or this instrument over here is used to measure length <laughs> okay we'll look at the basic things first okay we have a centimeter scale over here a vernier scale if you look carefully there's a vernier scale over here okay small in this if you notice the vernier scale and the main scale okay this this one is called the main scale okay this one is called the main scale and this one is vernier scale you will observe one thing that the vernier division the complete vernier division okay it starts from here okay and ends here okay notice one thing that zero one, this completely uh, it has 10 divisions okay these 10 divisions coincide with 0 0.9 centimeter of the main scale okay this one over here is main scale and uh, you know that okay and uh, see how it is being used this part over here okay this part is used to find external diameter or external length okay the above part is used to find internal diameter or internal length and we have one more thing we can find depth also and we will find that in the further video so i'll show you how we are going to use this okay you have to take this on your caliper you have to take an object and you have to see you can press this and move this along okay you have to check this so this is your thing okay you have to uh, properly align this between the two teeth okay now if you look carefully over here you have some graduations over here okay but yeah so directly now you have to measure it and simple it's done well it's not so easy okay now, okay now we need to learn how to read a vernier scale for that we need to find out the least count of vernier scale so how we do that see what is least count basically uh, for centimeter scale least count is one millimeter right uh, centimeter scale one least count that is one uh, division Okay, one division shows only one millimeter in case of a centimeter scale. Now, what will be in vernier scale? We know one thing that 10 divisions of vernier scale coincides with 9 divisions of main scale. We saw that. How? Because 10 divisions of vernier scale were coinciding with 0 0.9 centimeter. That is basically 9 mm. That is basically 9 divisions of main scale okay so 10 divisions of vernier scale coincides with 9 divisions of main scale division now how will it look into it see there's a procedure for this uh, let this be m okay now number of divisions coinciding with main scale will be m okay m of vernier scale is coinciding with m minus 1 that is 9 divisions of main scale basically what we'll do is solve this m into v equal to m into main scale minus main scale now we'll take this in account of this therefore main scale will be equal to m mm, will be common this will become main scale minus one year scale division. Therefore, now main scale minus one year scale, okay, will be equal to okay, jitna difference hai, that will be equal to least count of main scale upon the smaller division of one year scale. Now, what is this? For main scale, our least count is zero point. Uh, 1 centimeter upon what was this 10 okay so this will become basically 0 0.01 centimeter now this is basically the least count for one year's division now, now what does this mean if you look into a scale normally okay, normally on scale and you measure something how much 
detail can be measured. Now, supposing if uh, there's a centimeter scale, I measure one pen. Now, this this marker pen, maybe suppose it is of 10.2 centimeter. Okay, this is where the least count and it helps. Okay, here the least count is just one mm. Okay, one mm that is 0.1 centimeter only. So for least count for normal scale is 0.1 centimeter. Okay, it can show you just one place after the decimal point. But with the help of one year scale division, you can go one decimal point or one point precise. Okay, how in one year scale you can find out this marker pen may be supposedly 10.28 centimeter or 10.25 centimeter or whatever. How? Now we'll check. Now supposing this is one reading. Okay, we took the one year calipers and we we are trying to find out its diameter. Okay, so basically what we have to do right now. See, now we know the least count for one year scale is 0 0.01 centimeter or 0 0.1 millimeter. Now what will happen? Mm, we have to see, supposingly we take a vernier caliper and we are finding out, trying to find out this diameter. So there will be some readings and all. Okay, supposingly we take one reading from, from here. Now, this is the zero of the vernier scale. Okay, you have to consider which point. This is 0 0.5, this is 0 0.6, this is 0 0.7 and this is 0 0.8. The zero of the vernier scale is in between 0 0.7 and 0 0.8. So we will take the lesser quantity that is 0 0.7. This is what main scale reading. This is main scale reading that is 0 0.7. Now what will, what is the division that is properly coinciding with the main scale? See, there are many divisions over here, but one division will coincide properly with the main scale. In this case, which one it is? This is 0, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then again. Over here, the fifth point is coinciding with um, properly coinciding with any division of main scale. Now here doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that you have to coincide with which point. What matters is which vernier division is coinciding with any of the uh, division of main scale reading. Here the important part is the fifth one. Okay. This is not important. Okay. This is important. So here it is 5. Now what's the procedure? Vernier scale reading is 5. That is the fifth division is coinciding. Okay. Now what we'll do? We have to multiply this vernier scale reading into its least count. Into its least count. What is least count? 0 0.01 centimeter. Therefore, the final reading for this particular will be main scale reading plus vernier scale reading into least count. This will become 0 0.7 plus what was it? 5 into 0 0.01. So it will be 0 0.7 plus 0 0.05 which will give you 0 0.75 centimeter or units whatever the unit would be. Okay. This is how one division or one reading of from one year scale is being taken. Now we'll do the experiment again and I'll show you the basic thing. Now basically we are, we are going to perform two experiments. Uh, one is experiment 1A from your uh, lab manual and another is experiment B. Uh, in first experiment, we will be finding the diameter of this ball. Okay, we need to find the diameter of this ball. How we will do it? We need to take this one year caliper and then just simply place it as properly as possible in the middle. Okay, and we will record the observation. Now for this particular observation, if you look carefully, okay, the main scale reading for this particular thing is, wait, I'll have to check and I'll show you. This is basically 1.8. See, if you look carefully, okay, on 1.8 and 1.9, okay, there's this zero reading in between 1.8 and 1.9. So its main scale reading would be, main scale reading would be 1.8. 
नेक्स्ट विच डिविजन इज कोइंसाइडिंग प्रॉपरली विथ एनी डिविजन ऑफ द मेन स्केल विच डिविजन ऑफ वर्नियर स्केल इज कोइंसाइडिंग प्रॉपरली विथ एनी डिविजन डजेंट मैटर आई रिपीट अगेन इट डजेंट मैटर ऑन द मेन स्केल रीडिंग इट ओनली मैटर्स इन द वर्नियर स्केल रीडिंग आई चेक इट इट्स बेसिकली फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड इफ यू लुक केयरफुली इट्स द थर्ड डिविजन ओके दिस इज जीरो ओके आई टू लुक इट केयरफुली राइट ओके दिस इज जीरो दैट इज वन टू एंड द थर्ड डिविजन इज बेसिकली को इन साइडिंग प्रॉपरली विद एनी डिविजन ऑफ द मीन इट डजेंट मैटर हमें सिर्फ लाइन देखनी होती है कि कौन सी प्रॉपरली को इन साइड हो रही है सो बेसिकली ओवर हियर the vernier scale reading would be uh, vernier scale reading would be the third division okay now basically this is not the final thing in this we need to multiply this by lc that is least count which is 0.01 in centimeter so uh, this will be 3 into 0.01 centimeter therefore you need to then add this main scale reading Plus V S R that is one year scale reading into L C. This will become one point eight plus three into zero point zero one that is zero point zero three. This will become one point eight three. And the logic behind is simply, uh, if you want to make it fast, you have one year scale reading three always. It will be in the second place after the decimal point one point eight three. So it is simply one point eight three. But as a procedure, you need to write this. uh that thing i'll show you in the observation table itself now this was for a particular ball okay we took a spherical object and we took its diameter now it can also be done with other objects okay another is basically we can find the length of a cube okay okay any diameter any dimension from this thing okay the below part okay now supposingly if you need to find the internal diameter okay that is your basically second experiment okay internal diameter of a beaker and its height and ultimately find its volume so yes we can do that also in diameter we need to carefully check this thing okay this is for diameter okay just we need to do the setup like this and then we have to check it normally okay this particular reading is basically uh the main scale reading okay even i have to look it properly wait the main scale reading over here is basically 4.1 and 4.2 ke beech mein okay so basically it will be 4.1 this is 4.1 main scale reading for this will be 4.1 I am doing this for diameter now, internal diameter. Now, if you carefully look in this, uh, according to me, the sixth division. Okay, see, this is the zero, this is the fifth one, and if you have this in front of you, you would have observed it more properly. The sixth division in this is coinciding properly with. I don't care which division in the main scale. Main point is the sixth division is coinciding properly. So, Vernier scale over here will be sixth. Okay. This will become four point one six directly, but with procedure, you know, we have to this multi first multiply this with zero point zero one. This will become zero point zero six, and if you add four point one and zero point zero six, you will get four point one six. This is how you take reading from a vernier caliper. Okay, now simply if you need to find out the height. Okay, this was first initially zero. Okay, you have to check this height. you have to be proper in this okay now we have again the reading and we'll take the reading accordingly fine one thing now you have to check in this that is zero error now for this particular device or instrument we don't have any zero error okay if you look carefully over here the zero of vernier scale is coinciding properly with the zero of main scale see properly so there is no zero error but in some instruments if we have this much zero error supposing it itna zero error hai so what we'll do simply we need to find out ki which division it is coinciding properly 
ओके अगेन विथ डिविजन इट इज कोइंसाइडिंग प्रॉपरली और मेन स्केल सेम ये जितना डिस्टेंस आप देखते हो इसको कैलकुलेट करना है अगेन ये जितना डिस्टेंस आप देखते हो उसको अगेन कैलकुलेट करना है एंड सपोजिंगली ओके वॉट एवर यू मेजर नेक्स्ट ओके दिस पर्टिकुलर पार्ट विल बी एड ऑन इन टू इट ना सपोजिंगली एक सेंटीमीटर या फिर कोई भी चीज अगर दो मिलीमीटर ये बड़ी आती है ठीक है तो मैं कुछ भी मेजर करूंगा वो दो मीटर ज्यादा ही दो मिलीमीटर ज्यादा ही आएगा तो वो दो मिलीमीटर मेरे को लास्ट में क्या करना पड़ेगा माइनस सो so, अगर एक पॉजिटिव एरर है इफ देर इज अ पॉजिटिव एरर अल्टीमेटली आप उसको क्या करोगे लास्ट में माइनस करोगे रीजन कि आपका जो भी मेजरमेंट आएगा वो ज्यादा आएगा एंड इफ देर इज अगेटिव एरर दैट मीन्स अगर मान लो कि जीरो से भी वहां पे होता किसी डिवाइस में ओके सो द नेगेटिव एरर है बट वो नेगेटिव एरर अगर आप कुछ भी मेजर करोगे तो वो कम ही आएगा तो एक्चुअल रीडिंग अगर हमको चाहिए होगी तो हमें क्या करना पड़ेगा उसमें एड सो नेगेटिव एरर आर बींग एडेड इन दी एंड अच्छा बेसिकली एरर सब्ट्रैक्ट ही होते हैं लेकिन नेगेटिव एरर है वो सब्ट्रैक्ट होगा तो माइनस माइनस प्लस पॉजिटिव एरर है वो सब्ट्रैक्ट होगा तो ऑब्वियसली माइनस दिस इज द लॉजिक नाउ आई गाइड यू विद द एक्सपेरिमेंट ओके यू कैन pause and record your observations now uh, we don't we didn't have any errors so i omitted that column and rest is same see this is for your first experiment okay now what you need to do is that you need to write aim theory materials required you don't need to write procedure okay you have to draw observation table on the blank page of your uh, journal and at the end you need to write three precautions three sources of error and everything okay pause this video record this observation and then this is your experiment number 2 okay same procedure just the object is different and this is for internal diameter okay pause this and record this because this will change in a moment so this is for your uh, depth and okay same thing record this and write everything except procedure and with this your experiment 1 and your experiment 2 is over one thing i need to remind you that uh, this experiment is not yet over we need to find its internal volume so you have diameter you have depth you know the formula apply the formula find out its internal volume also yes uh, remember one thing in both the experiments you need to draw the for near caliper diagram yes i'm sorry but yes you need to draw it twice uh that's it thank you